All right, doing something a little bit different today, doing kind of a product review on sleeves. Now, these aren't necessarily ones I would normally use for Keyforge other than for my Archon cards. I like to keep them in a clear sleeve rather than the one that they're normally sleeved in just because constantly having to flip the card in and out is not as easy as just having it clear and being able to flip it over and see. So I have here the Ultimate Guard Matte Supreme and then I have the Ultra Pro Pro Matte sleeves. So I just wanted to um, see what they're all about in terms of a side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm just going to grab one of each and kind of talk about feel and whatnot. You can see I have two different packs here. One's a double pack, but it doesn't change the situation. All right, so here we go. So first up, feel. These ones seem to be double-sided. And this one, one side is matte and uh, the other side is uh, is clear. So that would be the back side, which is interesting, creates an interesting feel. Um, when I just go like this, they feel almost identical. Sizing-wise, they should be identical. Um, yep, basically identical. Now, uh, let's get some cards to throw in here. So let me just crack this open here and grab a card and see how it uh, it works inside. So we're just going to grab Science Officer King Can. Let's see how it goes in the sleeve here. Yeah, it goes in nice. It seems to be pretty solid all around. And we got the Ultra Pros. It goes in nice. Again, feel solid all around. So the main difference is the back here. I don't know if you can see that with this. We have that side, and then you look at this one. See, it's got that more of a, a matte finish to it rather than the standard gloss, which you can see here. See, a little more shiny. Uh, let's grab a Marvel Champions card. Good old Star-Lord that just came into the mix. So here you have it. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, <laughs> I say they're pretty on par. It just comes to a matter of which you prefer to use. Do you want the double mat or the single mat? Uh, that's the, the real question here. I don't know which one actually lasts longer, but I was personally curious if there was a big difference between the, you know, different mat versions, but it turns out there is absolutely no difference. They, they basically are exactly the same other than one side has a clear. So I imagine that being the difference is if you're shuffling, having, I guess, the dual mat, it just makes it feel a little bit more slippery. So may, I think it's going to have a smoother shuffle feel to this one because you can see right there that is the main difference. Um, I have been going over to the Ultimate Guards lately more so strictly because they have been more available and I use these for most of my games that are not Keyforge where I'm not mandated to have opaque sleeves. I actually really like this because a lot of the games I'm playing like board games and whatnot, they have really nice backings to the card which is part of the art and so I like being able to see that while I play the game. So that is why I've chosen clear sleeves for most of my uh, board game exploits. Uh, or car other card game exploits, and uh, these Ultimate Guards are, are really nice. I, I think I'm going to be moving over to them. I have so many Ultra Pros that I've kind of got one game rocking the Ultra Pros, and then all the rest I'm converting over to these Ultimate Guard um, matte kind of ones. They're called, actually, it says here, it's considered uh, transparent. Yeah, there's some that are frosted too, which I guess is another thing. So um, yeah, that's that's my choice right now. Is I, I'm I'm giving Ultimate Guard the uh, the seal of approval from Boulevard Blake, but I think they're actually both just at the end of the day a preference. These are just have been more accessible for me, so I've been using them more. Um, I do like Game Genix products as well a lot. Like I feel like they've really come into the market strong and swinging. But in terms of sleeves, I don't have as much Game Genix stuff other than my Keyforge stuff, which I do really like. My my Keyforge competition sleeves, which are the black opaque, opaque ones, are just tops. Uh, I would actually sleeve all my decks in those if it weren't for the exorbitant cost. So only my competitive decks get stuff like that. 
But for these board game sleeves, this just comes down to a matter of preference. They both feel nice. I also have the clear, clear ones of these, which are a thicker plastic. And uh, I actually find that I prefer these ones because the thick ones just end up taking up more space within the box of storage. So for me, I'm going Ultimate Guard, but between the Ultra Pro mats and the Ultimate Guard transparents, which do have that matte look, there is essentially no difference other than one side of the Ultra Pros is not matte. So that's about it. So uh, this was fun to do. The experiment proves that it's really a preference. So choose what you like. And uh, if you have not tried the Ultimate Guards, uh, they are nice. They are very nice, actually. I would 100% I would use them. So uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. And let me know if you'd like to see more types of product reviews of uh, just what I'm using and what I'm rocking these days. Have a good one.